Ready for sign-in? Yeah. Welcome to sign-in. I'm glad you joined me. Sign-in is where we take one kid at a time and we really try to work on writing the letters and we try to use the same method for writing each letter. Fall down straight. And we work through a script where I'm coaching the child to write each letter in their name and to recognize their name as an independent word. Slant forward, pull up. Good job. Ooh, keep going. I see your N and your E. Ooh, Neve, you're making a rainbow name. I like it. It's an extraordinary okay, thing when you, when you see a child really right? start to understand that, oh, I can write my name. What a powerful thing. So go back. We really encourage either turtle writing, so the kid puts their hand on top of the adults, or the child is writing, or the child tells the adult what they want them to write. The first thing parents can do to encourage writing is to make sure their child has the tools, crayons, markers, pencils, and something to write on. There are distinct stages that lead to writing. It begins with scribbling. Scribbling becomes drawing. Then children start to write letters. Then they write or copy words they see. All of these stages are writing, and you can encourage your child each step along the way. We're gonna write your name today, right? What I was really say? amazed at how quickly they were able to catch on to the concept of writing their first name, but writing with uppercase, lowercase, and then writing their last name. So with the whole writing, now they wanna write everything. Now we have a writing center. Before I had the materials out, but it wasn't an actual center. Now we have a writing center. What did we talk about in our book today? So journaling is a time where we sit together and we use art and words to explore the book. So usually I take a vocabulary word that we've been talking about throughout the week. In the book that we've been using this week, there's a bus. And what does my bus need to go? People! People! And what's it so I will see the word bus, we'll talk about what the bus is, I'll do an example of my bus, and of course all the kids get to be on my bus. Um, we talk about where the bus is going, the kids draw their own bus, and then they tell me stories about their buses, and I make sure I write those stories down as they narrate their story, and then I read it back to them so that they can see what their words look like in print. All right, let me read it to you. Me, my brother, my daddy, my mommy are on the bus. So who knows where their bus is? Who can find the bus on their paper? You might think that young children, it might be too overwhelming, it might be too frustrating, they might not be ready for it, but I think they are. And if you give them the opportunity, you know, I've seen two-year-olds, they may start with a scribble, but they're starting to make the connection that they are writers. It sets off a whole long line of connections to um, helping the kids understand that they're readers. So the two are very closely um, connected. Slant right. I did Whoa, you did it with me. When Rose started here, she knew her alphabet, but she didn't like know that this letter is A and this letter is B and this letter is C. And she didn't know how to write her name and now she can write it. It's actually right there on the wall. The Okay, so the E is upside down and the S is backwards, but that's pretty good for a three-year-old. My kid can write her name and she's only three. Well done.